Good morning. Good morning. I have to get me a microphone so I didn't have to run as far to the piano. <laughs> Pardon my cold. I made it the whole way through school without a cold, and now I have one. So. All right, as a way of announcements this morning. A lot is the same as last week. They're still looking for people to go to the Eastbrook Mission Barn in July, and your deadline uh, to sign up is July 15th. Uh, the Ice Cream Social next Saturday um, at the New Salem Memorial Hall. And Dave, that is not where you're taking me for our anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> the same. <laughs> there is a uh, blood drive on uh, Friday, June 14th, and here in the basement. We still have the box in the back uh, collecting um, for Tom Haynes. So if you have some of the items listed there, you can add that to the box. Um, is this, this is the second Tuesday for the food pantry? Okay, so the food pantry, uh, the second Tuesday, they have a delivery coming in. Oh, they're delivering food at 9 a.m.? Okay, the, the high-rise in places like that. And, um, let's see, June 9th, that's tonight, there is a hymn sing at Gumtown Park. You actually just come and sing hymns. All you do is pick your favorite song and we'll sing it. So I hope to see you there. I'll be there. Um, and if it rains, it'll be at the Baptist Church. Uh, looking ahead to June 25th, there's a discussion with Roger White about apportionment calculations. That sounds like exciting stuff. But <laughs> you are encouraged to attend. I'm sure they'll probably be food or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, also, are the trustees meeting this week? Maybe not. Maybe not? He'll, he'll call you. If you need to know, he'll, he'll let you know. Um, and June 13th, the United Methodist Women are making blankets. And on June 20th, there's a dollar dinner coming up. I saw it was something with uh, picnic food, so that looks exciting. And um, Father's Day is coming quickly. And if you're putting flowers on the altar, then you need to let the office know by June 12th. Are there any other announcements? Yeah, I have one. Uh, on the 14th, which is Friday, I believe, the uh, very big will be retiring four out four flag. If you'd like to bring to uh, somebody in the very big, we'll get them to the uh, park where they'll be retired from and uh, the way they're supposed to be retired on Friday on the 14th. Do you have the time? Six o'clock. Six o'clock? Yeah. Um, if you didn't hear that, they're retiring flags on Friday night on Flag Day. Um, at 6 o'clock at the park, if you have an old flag that's not serviceable anymore, they will retire it in a proper manner for you. Okay? And this is uh, Pentecost Sunday, so happy birthday to the church. Um, okay, if there's no other announcements, will you uh, join us in our opening chorus? I will call upon the Lord. Oh, okay, I'll give you five minutes, or no, 60 seconds. <laughs> 61 seconds while I find my song. Okay. Go. Howdy, howdy. Yes, sir, again. Okay. Again. How are you? Again. That's good. I survived in the first race. Oh, there you go. I'm glad that you did. I always hear that it's very exciting. Long drawn out.
second time, that was better. That was good. <laughs> All right. Join me in the call to worship. Come, Holy Spirit, the wind of God, the breath of life. Come, Holy Spirit, our advocate, our counselor. Come, Holy Spirit, teacher of wisdom, reminder of Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, grantor of forgiveness, giver of peace. Come, Holy Spirit, may we feel God breathing through our worship. May we receive the Holy Spirit in this place. And now the prayer of confession. Breath of God, Spirit, you appear like a driving wind. Blow away our prejudice and teach us to value all people. Spirit of God, who appear like tongues of flames, burn in us a passion for justice and a commitment to change. Spirit of life, who cause the disciples to speak in tongues, speak through us and fill us with the courage to proclaim your love. Spirit of truth, who fills us with wonder and awe, inspire us to work for a better world in a future where injustice is swept away. Amen. You may be seated. Now the special music today says Pharaoh, Pharaoh, and when I sent it in to Debbie, I also put group participation. This is a group song today. We don't have a special singer. You're all the special singers today. This is the song I used to do with youth when I worked with youth at, on the summer camps. So <laughs> you're going to be in summer camp for a little bit. I need five volunteers to help me sing this song. Now the first volunteer has to be someone familiar with Walk Like an Egyptian. So you might have to be old. You know, like from the 80s or on. You know. Do you remember that song? Either Steve Martin or the Bengals, I don't remember which one. Okay, so who would like to be our favorite? Anybody? Don't all come at once. <laughs> Any, everyone's pointing at Galen. <laughs> oh, you're older than mine. <laughs> I said the 1980s. <laughs> Somebody, are you saying that? Okay, come on up, Don, thank you. All right, and then the next person. Uh, needs to love children because they're going to hold a baby, not a real baby. Do we have someone who likes to rock a baby? Red. Red, I Red come on up, Red. <laughs> Thank you. I have such good friends. Uh, we need a good prayer. Someone who likes to pray, clasp their hands and pray. Bob. Bob. Where's Bob? Bob, are you, here? Are you hiding back there, Bob? I need a prayer. Bob. Here he comes. He's coming. All right, Bob's coming up. He's, you just have to clasp your hands in prayer. Oh, I'm guarding the door. <laughs> okay, now let me see. Right. Am I missing one? I know, I said five. I think I only need four. Okay. Oh, I know. I need, I need a person with long arms. Okay, how can you And the last person has to be someone who likes to make a noise. <laughs> they have to go, uh, oh, like that. Oh, Red, they, they want you to do this. Come over here on the end. You can go, oh, you can't, you can't do that. So I need one more person. I need, I need a baby rocker. Uh, and Sandy, you go over by Dawn. Okay, Bud's coming up. Okay, and I'm Bud. Are you coming? You go over beside Dawn. Okay, I'm the baby rocker. You're the baby. Okay, so. Oh, you're a rocker. Okay, Bud, you're, you're in the middle, Bud. No, Bud's in the middle. Bud's in the middle. Okay, now. Turn around. All right, here we go. So, every time we sing Pharaoh, Pharaoh, Dawn, you walk like an Egyptian. There you go. Sandy, you say, oh, oh. you're the, no, no, here, here you go. go. Oh, you rock a baby. 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 You say, let my people go. You don't have to say it. And then you say, ooh. Ooh. There you go. It's good already. All right. Now, everybody out here, you have to go, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure how many times it's on the recording. All right, should we go through it one more time? 
Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Oh, baby, let my people go. Ugh. There we go. <laughs> All right, hit it, Matthew. <laughs> well, you'll recognize the tune, too, I think.
morning, and we come before you offering up these gifts to you. In obedience to your word, we lift up such small amounts to give back to you. For you bless us with so many wonderful things. We pray that you multiply them for the betterment and the growth of your kingdom, and we always pray that they will glorify you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Our next hymn is number 500 in the hymnal.
Aubrey, Aubrey, Aubrey Angie. and Angie. Did you read my writing? <laughs> I'm sorry. Angie House. Angie House. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, our military and our families. Uh, the <coughs> uh, something, folks. Anniversary, folks. I'm sorry. Mission, mission, folks. Mission, folks. And Gary Brinker. Okay. All right. Any other joys? It is a joy to be here. It's a joy to be back. I will tell you this. I, I'm feeling very, very tired right now. encouraging you folks to be praying for our church and there is no more time I feel than right now we need to be praying for healing within our church. Uh, the issues that we have been going through, we are still going through. And I'm not going to get into a whole bunch of details, but please keep your church in Prayers daily. Oh, well. Dawn said I might want to explain that I just got back from the annual conference. Uh, it's, uh, it wasn't bad, but there was some, uh, small protests in the way uh, and so forth and I I left I left uh, mid morning yesterday I got permission from Jody to leave so I could go uh, be uh, part of Katie's basketball yesterday and up in here but there was supposed to have been another protest after everything was over with and, 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 and it, it's just uh, When we finally took and made the decision of the LGBTQ that was on the floor. Uh, thank you. I was not aware that it went that long. Yes. Um, I, I, had, I had basically no choice but to stay because I was of a legislative session that you are speaking of. And we actually. When we got our legislation, we actually had to reconvene after the evening was over, and we were in legislation up until 11, it was almost 11 o'clock when our legislative session ended, and kind of thing. But conference there, broke out last night until a quarter after seven when it was all over. There, there seems to be, we're in a situation where we, and I say we as United Methodists, fail to accept and concede to the fact that I, I feel and believe wholeheartedly in my heart that God's will is being done. It's been done since February. But yet we have United Methodists that just don't want to accept it and want to fight and fight and fight. And uh, my question is, when do we accept that God's will has been done in this whole process? We need to be praying. We need to be praying for it. Please. Uh, 
Any other joys? Uh, it's a joy. I, I, I'm just glad to be back. Uh, it's a joy to be here. It's always a joy to lead folks in worship service and and, and, uh, and share God's word with, with his people. And it's nice to see Bruce back again. Yes. And yes. when I look at him, I think of the difficult week that the firemen have had. And uh, so we need to be thankful for our firemen, but we also have to realize what a really difficult job it is that they have. Yes. And uh, we should be praising God daily for those that serve our nation, those that serve our communities, those that keep us safe, those that respond when we need help. There's so many that sacrifice a large portion of their lives uh, and their family lives to serve our communities. Any other joys? Michelle. Michelle got second place in, in the Penn State. Congratulations. Yeah. 